bitter years since the dead broke through the door. I've promised you peace. Today, I'm making good on it. Sama hatched a plan to blow up the door, to cut the dead off forever. Alan and I volunteered. We probably won't make it back, but I would rather take my chances than leave you in this broken world. You deserve more than a letter you'll never receive. But we both know you would never let me go. I lived a long life, but never a full one. Not until I found you. Promise me you'll live, Nor. I'm off to earn my rest. Baz. She's not accepting anyone. Just pretend I shoved you, all right? You sent Baz and Harlan to the door to the Great Below. I don't have time for this, Vanek. Requesting permission to- Denied. Baz can't fight at his age. Harlan can't cover for him and blow the door at the same time. I'm the best upper you've got and you know it. Return to your station, Vanek. Is that...? Can't have been them. The blast came from too low, wasn't nearly loud enough. I see. They're late, aren't they? Just give the order. <sighs> All right then. All right. Follow the trenches to the old fort. Stop for nothing and no one understood? Yes, Field Marshal. Zapparan, clear the way. No rest till dawn. No, no rest, rest till, till dawn. dawn. doing here I'm here to kick your ass for leaving me behind I can't let you through you could get killed you could get killed did you even think about that no oh, please this whole mission it's just just pull the damn gate up Sarah is here both of them. Small favors. Nor, go back. You're not ready for this. And Yahara is. Listen here, you little French filler. Keep it down. The shimmering wall is bad enough. You want to bring the dead on our head? The shimmering what? What in the pits is that? Some kind of... What have you done? Getting us through. Those gouges are glowing. Why are they glowing? Souls below. These bodies, they've been here for years. The dead must have gotten them while they were fleeing the city. 
They look smashed. Toyed with. The dead don't do that. Keep your eyes peeled, will you? Whatever did this is probably still around. Everyone get clear! Pulse below. You wouldn't know, would you? Follow me. I'm sorry, what? Hey! Hey! Hey, wait! I dragged you out of the room. You were unconscious, <laughs> right? Out of the... Uh, was there anyone else with me? You were alone. No matter. You'll have to do. Do? What am I going to do, exactly? Your hand meddled where you shouldn't. Destroyed the barrier that kept the gods contained. What barrier? You mean that shimmering wall we... So it was you. We couldn't... I didn't know. The damage is done. Now you must mend it. Hey! Hey! The god you unleashed is called Uru. It is his army of the dead that has been laying waste to dawn. The source of all your suffering. And how is it that you know all of this? Because I am a god too. <laughs> you... tiny talking... fox thing. You're a god. There are lesser and greater gods. My name is Enki. You probably haven't heard of me. Consider me your chance at redemption. Your kind ravaged my city. My world. 
Killed everyone I've ever loved. Every breath I take from here on will be spent exacting my revenge on the gods. What's to stop me starting with you? Nothing. Death to gods. <laughs> Alone, you stand no chance against a god. Let me help you. If you're a god, you're one of them. Why would I do anything to help someone I've sworn to kill? If it's vengeance you want, I'll give it to you. As long as Uru is free, your world is in mortal peril. Help me seal him away. Stem the tide of destruction. It's the least you can do. You have a deal. Any hint of trickery and I'll be burying this axe into your skull. I would expect nothing less. Now how do we get out of here? This way. I never asked your name. No. My name's Noon. And the axe? That's not a woodcutter's tool. I'm a sapper. Fight in trenches, tunnels. Lots of uses for an axe down there. You're a capable warrior then. I'm efficient. Come here. Hand me some of your black powder. What for? You'll see. Good. Now, try keeping up. Keep up how? <laughs> what was that? I infused it with an inkling of magic. It should help us get around. <laughs> Uru the Ravager. A title he's rightfully earned. It was in every story that they read to me when I was born. And now he's loose. Dead. The show of good faith. The dead shouldn't be here. Where is this place? How far are we from the trenches? Things have changed while you were unconscious. You should best see them for yourself. Why did that one go down so easily? I marked them for death. Helps me with the person. Finally, we're out. Is that... Smoke? This is way past the trenches. The Coalition would never... The dead spilled out of the door when Uru was freed. The Coalition didn't even stand a chance. Did this. Time to put it right. That should be all of them. We should check the coffee shop, call everyone back. Is the host back at her hearth already? Never left. 
said she's been in that coffee shop 200 years. And she ain't running. I'm gonna go for a drink out today. Bless you. The dead came over us like a wave. If it hadn't been for you... Let's not celebrate just yet. This whole mess is far from over. I'll let the other hosts know. Keep an eye out for you. In the meantime, here. One good deed deserves another. Leaving so soon? No. Those below, it really is you. Over here. Boss! Baz, your leg. Ah, Blast took most of it. Infection got the rest. I knew you'd made it. I knew it. Did anyone else make it? Did Harlan? He fought to the end. Got that winged bastard good. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. Pity me if I'd lost you. We're wasting time. With the dead loose, we have no chance of reaching Uru. Souls below, it's talking? What is that thing? I saw it fighting with you outside. He's a god. He's gonna help me drag Uru back into the Great Below. Is that so? Tell me, little god. Can you wipe the dead away with one stroke? Blow away the walls of dawn with a swish from your tail. I. If we're going up against an army, we'll need a proper fighting force. Three Peaks is the only place that's still got one. That's a month's ride from here, Baz. Two weeks. If you cut through Satrap's Wind and travel light. I know a couple of guides that can take us. Lead the way, then. Our worst fears came true. When the Coalition's lines broke, the dead spilled into the world. It took every treacherous back road I knew to dodge their hordes. To push them back, we'd need an army. The only place that still had one was Three Peaks. A hard place, breeding harder people. Its knights are the oldest and greatest army in the world. Conquered most of it, even. Now they rest on their laurels, rich off the fortune in black powder under the kneeling keep. Two grueling weeks later, we were in sight of their capital, the city of Rit. Let's hope they'll help us save the world. Maybe then Noor will forgive herself. Right. Which way to Rit? We've barely had time to set up camp. At least get some food in you first. The Coalition needs that army, Baz. The sooner we get them the help they need, the better. <sighs> Can you hold on until I've checked your axe and gun? They're fine, Baz. I need to... Just needs a bit of wood, iron, and sulfur. Won't even take a minute. With all the materials I need piled up over there. Get away from me, will you? Right then. Let me take a look. The trail ahead leads to the city. You can request an audience with the judges there. Meanwhile, I'll talk to some of my people in the keep. Grease the wheels if I have to. You know people in the kneeling keep? The perks of running were scumbags in my youth. Some of them got to very high places. I'll meet you at Pilgrim's Band when I'm done, all right? Don't take too long. You didn't sleep last night. Or the night before that. Well, I couldn't. What were you scampering about? Sleeplessness only makes you a liability. You should. I'm all right. The bridge is gone. Damn. I have a better idea. Touch that skull for me. Mm. All right. Next one. Is this even safe? 
Most dangerous. <laughs> Souls below! I can get used to this. You might just have to. Halt, Outlander! State your purpose! I need to see the judges. It's urgent coalition business. The coalition has been declared an enemy of the Kneeling Keep. Since when? Why? For heretical possession and use of black powder weapons being an affront to Ramuha, goddess of the peaks. Do not resist. This is... Bailiff, restrain her. Stop her in Ramuha's name. Was that? They mentioned Ramua, another god. She must have also escaped dawn when the barrier fell. Another one. I let out another one, and the knights are on her side already. I have to stop her, Enki. Before I can get to Uru, I have to stop her. Perhaps Baz fared better. There's another god. She's in the peaks already. It's worse than that. Ramuha's in the kneeling keep itself. No one's allowed in there anymore except her and the judges. Coming here was a mistake. We need to leave. Try somewhere else. I'm not going anywhere. Not while Ramuha's wreaking havoc at the peaks. What about you, Enki? Are you going to let her drag you into this? Not to my death, certainly. But I share her sentiment. Well, you aren't going to get anything done unless you get into Ritz. And the city is swarming with knights. We need someone to sneak us in. And I know just the one. His name is Young, former Forge Master of the Keep. Last I heard, he'd hold up in Mudfish, but every road to it is blocked. Like that's ever stopped us. All I need is a barrel of black powder and I can breach through. There's a fort down the road. If the knights have been confiscating black powder, they'll definitely have a stash there. It's madness. Why would they take away all the black powder? If black powder can tear down the barrier at dawn, it can harm a god. Ramuha is simply eliminating a threat. You to <laughs> Killing. Do you enjoy it? Killing's dirty work, Enki. I only do it because I have to. I see. Then, how should I kill Ramuha when we get to her? Quick as you can. Back of the head or straight to the heart. <laughs> no matter what? No matter what. You and Baz are close. He's your father, correct? I had a father. A mother, too. Lost them a few months after the dead invaded. If Baz hadn't found me, I'd have followed them right after. How odd. You're only alive thanks to the kindness of a stranger. Don't gods do that? Not by our own volition. When I was a kid, I found one of their hatchlings. I took it in, kept it warm, fed it from my hand. Soon as it could walk, it tried to pick my eyes out. I see you kept busy. What are those target dummies for? This. Thought you'd need the practice. Where in the pits did you find a musket? Bandit. Tried to mug me when I was going through the back roads. You haven't used one of those in a while, have you? Been up close and personal for too long, I guess. Then you're long past due for a refresher. <laughs> I 
That should do it. Got something else for you, too. Before I forget, here's a breaching barrel. I can never have enough of those. What would I ever do without you, Baz? Learn to climb, for one. We don't have to split up, you know. You could come with me. Now you want me with you? After leaving me behind in Dawn? That mission was suicide at best. Sama should never have let you join us. So you'd just be... gone. You didn't even write to say goodbye. No, believe me. I started writing that letter a hundred times. But I could never finish it, so I said nothing. And thank mercy you found me, because I'd never have forgiven myself for it. <laughs> Let's try the coffee shop. Maybe the Forge Master's there. Forge Master Young. Bass sent me. The old hound's still alive. And <laughs> whining for favors. I've been run out of my home by knights and wrangled by bandits for a month, Sapper. If you aren't here to help, I've no use for you. We just need a way to get into Rit, Forge Master. Oh, well, good luck with that. She could prove her worth yet. Over here, I might have something that could help you change the Forge Master's mind. Maybe lift his spirits, too. He certainly needs that. Go on, good host. I'm all ears. The Forge Master has called Mudfish home forever. But everything that's happened has left it in a sorry state. <sighs> I'm not much of a craftsman. There's a local carpenter that needs some help. I'm sure she'll find some use for you. The Forge Master's a hard one, isn't he? Thank mercy for you. It means a lot to us. A job well done requires a proper reward. Here, you know, thugs like those bandits like to put up their banners all over the place. I'm sure the people would appreciate you taking them down wherever you find them. I'll keep an eye out. So you're not on the hook. And that's a good sign. All we need is a way to get into Rit, Forge Master. Then we'll be out of your hair. <laughs> You did all this just to throw your life away. The peaks have gone mad, and Ritz the reason for it. If you go in there, the best you can hope for is a mock trial and a hanging. They'll have to catch me first. Is that so? Have it your way. There's a sulfur miner's town upriver called Whitebridge. You can cut into Ritz from there. Except some awful thing from below has burst into the hamlet. Looks like the coward knights won't stand up to it. Well, I'm not a knight, Forge Master. And I'm certainly not a coward. We'll take care of it. You? As in, your company? Because that's what it would take to bring it down. Otherwise, don't bother me. I have enough on my plate already. You shouldn't have volunteered. Do you have any idea what you're going up against? No, but it's got you quaking. A revenant feeds from the magic of the great below itself. It enslaves the dead and corrupts everything around it. We should find another way into the city. Oh, think of it like a trial run. If we kill one of those things, we can take on run, huh? You'd risk your life for a measure of strength. Only way to be sure. That, that huge floating thing. What is that? It's the crown of a revenant's lair. This one probably broke out of the grate below, trailing the rest of the gods. Nora, come here a moment, will you? Time for sore eyes. What's the news? 
You look worn. Rest a while. I found Young. He said our best bet is through Whitebridge, but it took some doing. Even at the end of the world, a lump won't do a favor for free. Actually, I volunteered. <laughs> of course you did. Sometimes I worry I raised you too well. Let's stock up. Road ahead looks rough. Been waiting for you. What's the matter? I was a damn fool is the matter. Got mugged like a greenhorn. They were coalition, probably deserters. Gave me some sob story that their captain had been killed and they'd wandered all the way here. As soon as I turned my back on them, they jumped me. Are you all right? Did they hurt you? Just some kicks and scrapes. Took my money for all the good it'll do them. My plunderbuss, too. Right. Which way did they go? Let it go, Noah. I just wanted to warn you. We don't have time to go playing military court. I'm just gonna talk to them, Buzz. It's only a damn gun. It's your damn gun, and I'm getting it back. Have it your way. Last I saw them, they were headed into an old mine, further up the road. The place looked abandoned. Looks like the mine that Buzz was talking about. Let's go. Skulking in the dark. You seem particularly outraged. Those bandits mugged Baz whilst dragging the Coalition's name through the mud. Caught him mad. Are you sure that they're bandits? Baz said they were deserters. Nope, couldn't have been. You're Coalition, aren't you? I'm not. I'm not going back! You wouldn't make it anyway. Not in your condition. There's no escaping them, is there? came out of dawn like a wave. You can't fight that. Did you blow those charges before? I... the dead. They tore right through us. I tried to trap them, but they'll get through. I know it. It's okay. I'll deal with them. <laughs> Throw your life away. What do I care? Here. Maybe this'll help you. That's Baz's blunderbuss. So you were the ones that jumped him. Was that his name? Tell the old man. We're sorry. Hey, Baz? The blunderbuss. Souls below, you found it. What about the, uh... Assorted. Said they were sorry. Well, thank you. And, uh, apology accepted. Here. Yeah. You've earned it. I can't take that, Baz. It's your gun. Fat lot of good it did me. It should be in more capable hands. But... You've had it since I've known you. And now I'm passing it to you. Forge Master, you came. You talked a big game back in Mudfish. Had to see it for myself. And I don't even know your name. Nor. Nor Vanek. I've never seen anyone fight like you, Nor Vanek. Or anything like that fox thing. What do you call it? Enki. My name is Enki. It is. Then thank you, Enki. As for you, Nor Vanek. You won't go far if you keep wading into battle dressed like a ragtag soldier. I've done fine so far, Forge Master. Uh, you deserve better. I just need a safe place to work. That's a start-up camp down the road. He'd be more than happy to put you up. Good. Tell the old hound that Lump is coming. And to reach the city, cut through the Foglands to the Black Powder Factory. From there, you can climb all the way up into Rit. On it. Relic power. 
feel it in my blood. <laughs> They were this cult that started when the dead invaded, preached about curing death. I knew they were insane, but they were never dangerous before. We have company. Something isn't right. Don't let her near the manifestation. Kill her. So, what were you before you became a sapper, exactly? I was a trapper. That's someone who opens and closes vents to a mine. Hated every minute of it. You must have been a child. I was old enough. We had to put food on the table. Back! You rotters! Back! He looks like he could use a hand. Mm. Let's hope I won't regret it. Appreciate the assistance. Night Gimu, at your service. Norvanek. Yes. I've heard of you. The woman that killed the Whitebridge horror. How come you aren't attacking me? Like the rest of your order. I'm sworn to keep the peace in the peaks. Containing the dead is my priority. If anyone asks, I never even saw you. Tread carefully, Norvanek. That I will do. So the Coalition chose you because you had been a trapper? They chose me because I was good at making dead out. And at calling out the when the dead would flood into them. Mm -hmm. Often enough to get me a medal. Never wear it though. Can't even stand to look at it. Do all the gods live in the Great Below? Most of us. Yes. Then, do you know, do all of us turn into them? The dead? Not exactly. When you die, your soul drifts to the great below, where the god of death takes away every sorrow and every memory, <laughs> leaving you a clean slate. Your new body is unrecognizable in the great below. So, you disappear? From this world? Yes. But you were never forgotten. Is that what happens to gods when they die? I wouldn't know. No god has ever perished before. We could end up in the great below like you do. Or nowhere. We could all just be over. I... It's okay. I know the feeling. Den. Are you sure she's in there? Start getting somewhere out of sight. Right. Let's get this done. Still told what news from the road? I never did thank you for saving me. Someone had to. Or you'd have taken Rip by yourself. <laughs> what probably would have left something for you. You need to tell me what's wrong with you, Luca. Family condition, I've known about it forever. Baz is good with cures. Maybe he can help. It's not that serious, honest. So what? You'll just live with it? For how long? As long as I can. No rest till dawn. Sight your eyes. What's the news? 
construction's near out. The peaks are in tatters. Even if we win here, this trip was a loss. Not if we can help the people, Beth. <sighs> I'm making arrangements anyway. I have a feeling we'll need a getaway sooner rather than later. I know you didn't want me to join you on that mission to the door, but was there anyone else that didn't want me there? You mean Harlan? Yeah. I thought when I was skipped over... Skipped over? You were the first one they picked. I called in every favor I had to replace you. And when Harlan found out... He volunteered. Because he knew you couldn't do it alone, or I'd kill you both from keeping this from me. Well, we hope the dead would beat you to it. I just realized you called Young Lump. Young called you Old Hound. Like the joke. <laughs> Took you long enough? Which joke? It's nothing. Rifles of children. Lump went hunting with his old hound, and the hound would point to things. Did you see this? Did you see that? No and no. Lump will grumble. Until the hound said, again, did you see that? Aye, oh, I did, Lump grumbled. Then, then why'd, why'd you, you step, step in, in it? it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't get it. Why does this place feel so oppressive? Absolute control requires absolute terror. And these people, that is. On your feet, Lord. Two groups ahead. We're gonna find out if we can kill a god soon enough. Ramuha always did stick to the shadows. Maybe she's heard what we've done already and backed down. Let's hope not. There it is. The home of every knight in every storybook I've ever read. Never thought I'd step foot in this place. All events. They say each leg was as tall as three men. And thicker than a wagon. They carried all of Rit on their backs and laid it on the mountain top. That sounds... embellished. Like you've ever seen one, have you? There are a few of these beasts left out west. They're peaceful giants, slow to anger. Oh, I wish I could see one. If there's anything you haven't told me about Romulha, now's the time. She's a manipulative creature, an adept at twisting the truth as she sees fit. Be careful around her. Judges! You are charged with treason and conspiracy to sabotage the Coalition's war effort. Step down or be destroyed. Infidel! Gunbearer! Black powder? And our glorious hall? And who are you to order us, trench filler? I am the last warning you'll ever get. Stand down, Ramuha. Aren't you? The rumors were true! We're no longer below death god. You cannot presume to command me. And you're too diminished to make me.
as promised. Death God. She called you Death God. Who are you, Enki? The one who just helped you kill a goddess. Don't change the subject. You had every chance to tell me what you were a god of. What else are you hiding from me? I am your ally in this. Your best and only chance to stop this disaster. That should be all you need to know. This isn't over. Let's get back to camp before the judges bring every knight in writ down on our heads. Always a petty bastard, that one. I'll be damned. You killed a god. After what happened back in dawn, I... I never even thought it would be possible. We didn't kill her soon enough. The Peaks is in no state to give us an army. Well, if we lack an army to do the leading, we'll tear the evil out ourselves. What does that even mean? It means there's another way we can help. I got a letter from Yahara. They've been in Wanderer's Rest, also trying to get reinforcements. What did it say? That the dead have reached there as well. Torn down everything in their path. Said they looked like a gilded army, nothing they'd ever seen before. Sounds like another god. Right. We're setting off for Wanderer's Rest, and then we'll... You're going to try and fight another god? After everything you saw here? I can't leave those people at its mercy, Baz. Luca? Young? Is this what the rest of you want? I've got to get Yahara out of there. Seems like the right thing to do. Fine. I'll pack the supplies and prep the birds. And we're ready to go when you are. We set off for Wanderer's Rest. Birthplace of civilization. And the richest, most educated place in the world. That is, until the gods got loose. Gods like Enki. The god of death. Who knows what else he's lied about? What kind of path he's leading Nor down? She's been trying to corner the death god, force him to come clean. He's dodged her so far. No matter. His luck won't hold after we find Yohara in first anchor. We'll make sure of that. Lucas said Yahara was staying here. Let's go get them. Why is it? I'm looking for someone. They're with the coalition. Reeks of black powder? Ill mannered like a mower with mites? That's the one, yeah. They left just before all the trouble with the dead started. They're not coming back, are they? Not if I can help it. Looks like Yahara's safe house. Looks like they packed up and left already. D Looking for the one with the blue jacket? Stinks of black powder. Sounds like them, yeah. They left as soon as the dead came to first anchor. I tried to talk them into hiding with the rest of us, but... It didn't work. They would have been found anyway. The dead are all over this place. Said they were headed to back harvest. Only way there is through jagged ascent. You could still catch them if you hurry. I'd best get going then. Nor, a moment. I have news that might interest you. You have not been killed. Good. You had news, Forge Master. I've learned a group from my former order has been seeking a relic. They can have it then. My fight isn't with the knights anymore. This isn't some trinket, Nor. It's a piece of sacred armor, passed down generations. We cannot let it fall into their hands. They've been away from the peaks for a while. 
Couldn't we reason with them? That's a dangerous plan. Last I heard, the armor was entombed in Sun Shelter. I would start the search there. Pope, this area has been claimed by the judges of the Kneeling Keep. None shall pass. I'm here to parley. Let me speak with your commanding officer. Sentinel Gersis is not seeing anyone. Especially not civilians. Tell him Norvanek wants to see him. He'll know who I am. Ah, uh, uh, oh. Follow me. No sudden movements. Understood? I'm busy, Teeg. Whatever it is, I'm sure it can wait. Uh, uh, a woman is here to see you, Sentinel. Name of Noor Vanik. Vanik. Bring her here. Immediately. You are an enemy of the judges. According to their missives, my killing you should put me in their good graces. Why come here in the first place, Noor Vanik? Because I've met your judges, and I know they're dishonest. But more importantly, because they've run the peaks into the ground. Turn the rest of your order against its people. They're not worth your loyalty, never mind your life. Ah, so that's it. I'm supposed to give up on my mission on an infidel say-so. I've said my piece. Do whatever you want. You've come to me with neither fear nor trickery. I respect that. You have earned yourself a trial by combat. In the traditional manner. And that means... It means a proper jewel. Steel on steel. No guns. Or bombs. Or black powder trickery. Best me, and my knights will leave this place. And if you win? I, I promise to make it quick. But use your black powder weapons. And the deal is off. Understood? You ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> I yield. Good fight, Norvanek. A deal honored is a deal kept. Is it true? What you said of the peaks? Every word of it. I swear on my life. The people need champions now more than ever. Then we'll set off at once. But before that... Here, the judges tasked us with finding this armor. It was made to serve the just and those who fight tyrants. I trust that you can make the most of it. I will. Thank you, Sentinel. You found it. Souls below, look at it. Did the knights give you any trouble? They took some convincing. So Ramaha's poison didn't affect them all. Means there's hope for the order yet. Thank you. The armor has dents that need fixing, but even in this state it will serve you well. Wouldn't you rather have it, Forge Master? It's a warrior's tool. Wear it proudly. <laughs> this temple belongs to Anaya, <laughs> the goddess of life. She's not here, is she? Anaya's nothing like the others. She is compassionate, understanding. She sounds like someone special. Anaya's work always took precedence. It was her pride and joy. Sounds like you didn't care much for yours. I couldn't stay in the Great Balloon. And she wouldn't leave. So you left her down there? I did everything in my power to ensure that the cycle would persist. But I can never make it up to her. I know that much. Dukma. Duck what? Fancy! <laughs> Your years above have been unkind, I see. Who's talking? There is no glory in killing you. Not when you're this diminished. Get rid of them. Enki, is this some kind of stick joke? <laughs> So 
levels below, what are you doing here? Knee deep in another mess, I see. Just get me out of here, Gahara. Fine, cover your ears. I never thought I'd be happy to see you. The feeling isn't mutual. What are you doing here? Fascinating. You're ruder than I expected. Why is it talking to me? Luca got your letter. He's camped down the road with Baz and Young, the Fort Master. We're here to help. Never mind that. Wanderer's rest is a ruin. There's nothing for the Coalition here. We should leave while we still can. I thought the same about the peaks, but we still pulled through. You don't get it, do you, Vanek? There was some kind of huge battle. A god took over Sybil. It's over. You meet the others at the camp, and I'll take a look at the city myself. Well, it's your funeral. And Vanek, thanks for saving my brother. You were shaking. I just thought something that looked like me had a... had a god boom at me from nowhere. I, I need a moment, all right? That thing up there... It can't be me. It isn't. It's an Ehak. It's... Think of it like a reflection. Made real by magic for a single purpose. A coward. <laughs> you look troubled, Forgemaster. I put a lifetime's experience into the armor I made. But your guns got through them all the same. They're damn good guns, Young. I couldn't have gone through that armor otherwise. Even so. It proves they're obsolete. The fork was replaced by the plow. Steel overtook iron. But the craftsman persists. What was that? Something to consider. Thank you, Death God. I must return to my work. Have you brought something combustible? I'm not interested. Never thought I'd say this, but... I'm glad to have you on the team. You call that a team? An old fart, a blacksmith, a god I can lose in a burlap sack, and you? You can leave whenever you want, you know. Leave my little brother with you lot. Fat chance. Oh, go away, will you? I'm sorting my catalysts. What news from the road? You look worried. Seating you. It's nothing, really. What? There's this stabilizing agent. Quack water! It's unproven, but nothing else has worked. Frankly, we're at a complete dead end. And this quack water, will getting it help you? Immensely. I'll do it. You will. <laughs> she said she'll do it. <laughs> she would waste her time on nonsense. According to my sources, the stabilizer can be found in two possible water sources nearby. I, I made this simple test. Just dip this vial underwater. If it changes color, that's the source. Sounds simple enough. I'll be back as soon as I can. <sighs> Thanks, Noah. It means a lot, honest. It seems like a poor use of our time going after puddles. Lucas said it's a stabilizer. It should stop his condition from getting worse. There's no cure the above. <laughs> 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 It changed color. That's our water. Let's give Luca the good news. We can cut. You're going to bring us to save Luca. He's saved my life more times than I can count. I should save his for once. Death isn't a failure. It's a stability. Even if it does come for Luca, do not blame yourself. <laughs> If this doesn't work... It's going to. It has to. I'm impressed. That's probably your worst idea yet. Unlike anything else you've tried has worked. Oh, have it your way then. See if I can. Here. One canteen full of... magic water. It's alkali. And thank you. Here. That should do it. What in the pits is that? A gun that I've been tinkering with. I couldn't get the igniting catalyst to work, but with the water... I thought... What? No, what's wrong? I think we should give it a try. What do you think, Noor? Sure.
Thanks, Luca. A damn gun. I thought I was helping him and he was making some damn gun. Souls below, I feel so useless. You gave him joy. Helped him achieve something. What good is that? See, you want worm food yet? Go away, Vanek. Luca isn't well. Oh, you noticed. How nice. You lot go on without me. There's something I need to do. This is about Luca, isn't it? About his condition. It's not a condition, Vanek. It's a curse. Our parents played at being sorcerers, tried to become immortal. They used Luca at some point when he was too young to remember. The horror, that's awful. Well, I should have tried harder. I need to go to my parents' home, find the source of it. Coming with me would be pointless unless you know magic. Nor doesn't, but I do. If we could reverse the ritual your parents used, I could undo it. Destroy the curse entirely. We'll have it your way then. Just let me know when you're ready. What is this place? Our childhood home. My family made a fortune in trade, mercenaries, you name it. Then mother and father got involved with that cult back in dawn. Got all sorts of mad ideas. Eventually, they thought of making us part of their experiments. How did you get away? I blew the place up. This way. Try to keep up. Right, I've still got our parents' old grimoire. I'll start reversing the ritual. And what do I do, exactly? I need our old alchemy ingredients. Get them for me, will you? I hid some in the old study, the rest could be anywhere. The front door's locked, so try the side door. So... How do you become immortal? You cannot. Not that it ever stops people from trying. Some have attempted to suppress aging through meditation or chemical concoctions. Others have tried transplanting their souls into the vessels of the dead. The Ceres aren't doing any of that, however. Something's got you rolled up. What lingers here? It isn't a mere runoff. It's an active spell. So your horror blowing this place up didn't stop it. And the sorcerer that wove it is still alive. I think I figured out the spell's purpose. It neither transmutes nor transposes. It assimilates. Meaning? It is eating away at Luca's life force and soul. Empowering the sorcerer. Whoever made it, timed its effect to when Luca would come of age. The Seraphs did find a way to stave off death after all. They just had to eat their son's soul in the process. Here. I think I got them all. Took you a while. Now let's see. Is that it? Is it working? No. The catalysts are in order, the reaction is steady. What's... Damn it! What is it now? I forgot about the focus. Try breathing slower then. Helps me when I'm distracted. The spells focus, Vanek. It should be in the family tomb under the house where my parents kept it. Hopefully the basement survived the explosion. There better not be one more thing after this. Whoa, those below it reeks. This is the place. The spells manifesting locusts. The Seraphs were trying to tap into the great below, but their ritual was interrupted. There was explosion. There. The place where the Seraphs tried to break into the great below. Do you feel that? Like something twisting into my soul. Yeah. When the blast interrupted the spell, the energy would have been released uncontrollably, destroying everyone involved. Explains all those charred corpses. And those that survived would be horribly twisted. Ah! We must go back. Quickly. Something went wrong. We have to go. What's wrong with your horror? A spell has gripped them. Locked them in place. Our sorcerer is nearby. Out with you! Glory of Grief, our prodigal child has returned. Oh. 
Enki, what is this thing? What became of the Ceres? An abomination. Omega. Our boy's fate is sealed, and your honor will be repaid in full for their insolence. I've heard enough. Let's end this. There was this awful vision. The words are gone from the grimoire. My ingredients have disappeared. What happened? You reversed the spell. Undid the curse. You must have lost consciousness when it manifested. I did? They did? They did. Oh, damn. I don't know what I was expecting. But it wasn't that. I'm still glad you're here. We should get back to the boat. I need... We shouldn't tell them. About their parents. Agreed. It's all mother and father's fault! I should've... Don't let them haunt you, Yara. They deserve it. Yara gave me everything. What you did for me, for us. How are you feeling, Nuka? For the first time in my life, I'm going to live. And it's all thanks to you. Thank Enki. He's the one that figured out all the magic stuff. I can see why you keep him around. Thank you, Enki. I guess you aren't so bad after all. I'm Vanek. Yeah. You are totally useless for once. Keep it up. I'll see what I can do. Your trespass has gone on long enough, and she... You never did know your place. There he goes again. Where is he? I'm always worse And you're barely worth it. It's a trick. Don't let him get through it. You string him up. I'll do the right thing. Should we stop? That smell. <coughs> you know what that is, right? I do. No, 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 no. How did this... How, how could this... Dawn is weeks away. How did they get here so fast? Tukma must have marched his army underwater. Took Sybil's defenders by surprise. The rest was just... A massacre. I'm gonna kill him. I'll tear him apart. Oh. You need to stop. You saw what he did back there. I did. <laughs> He'll help you. But if you charge in there in your state, you're going to make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> to think I was in awe of you once, and she... Now you crawl like a rat through my domain. I'm a rat now, Dukmar. But you were always a groveller. 
reduced to petty insults. How sad your state. I was right. <laughs> This drop of power you speak of built my new city. Built? It's a ruin, Dukmar. For my subjects, it is a reminder of the glory of the gods, a testament to my rule. Your subjects are corpses. There are enough of them left alive. They will breed, grow old, forget. In a hundred years, I will be their god of gods. And you will be forgotten. human to our fight. She is my companion, Dugmar. Ramukhar died by her hand. Detestable. Even now you won't face me. I will kill her quickly, but take my time with you. In your final moment, Sand, she, you will bow. Come on, then. Fight me and die. You've lied to me already. I need the truth, Enki. You're trusting Dukmar's word over... The truth! When I fled the Great Below, I never considered that anyone would pursue me besides the gods. You never thought they'd send an army to get you back. It was inconceivable. The dead had never been allowed above before. The thought that Uru would... Uru didn't put up that barrier. You did! And you half-assed it. More. And then you heard the coalition was too close. That the city was about to fall. I couldn't be sure the barrier would hold. That's how I found you. You wouldn't have accepted me. You let me think I'd freed the gods, Enki. You let me think I'd wreck the world. Ever since I met you, I had to travel every step of the way, carrying every corpse with me. You didn't ruin the world. They did. And who let them out? Everyone gather round. There's something you ought to know. There is nothing I can say to make up for the harm they have done. You, Death Guard. This is on you. That's all we get. <coughs> Half an apology for ten years of suffering. Do you know how many friends we had to bury because of you? How much we lost? I can't undo my mistake. The power I had in the Great Below has nearly faded. Then what good are you? I say we leave this coward behind. Who's with me? I. I. After everything, you still want him around. You're bigger idiots than I thought. No matter. Majority rule. You sent him away, it gets off easy. Is that what you want? I want him to pay. He will. By fixing the mess he made. I thought you'd never want to see me again. 
I didn't at first. But then... I thought how we started by killing two gods already, and how we're going to finish it by killing a third. We can't fight Uru. He is first among the gods. Dukma and Ramuha were nothing compared to him. Ramaha and Dukmar couldn't survive a shot to the brain pan, and neither will he. But before that, I'm going to need someone to breach the walls of dawn. Enough firepower to take down an army. Armor to keep me alive until it's done. And a god to help me shut the door. Even if it's the last thing he will ever do. Who's with me? I. 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 Unbelievable. You're going to get me killed. No rest till dawn. No rest till dawn. So be it. No rest till dawn. No rest till dawn. No rest till dawn. On the way back to dawn, we hatched a plan to take back the city and avenge the coalition. Facing Uru again feels like suicide. But maybe we stand a chance with the Death God on our side. I doubt Yohara will ever forgive him. I know I won't. But he's the only chance we've got. Noor and Enki have been talking a lot. Making amends. I can tell the Death God is glad he's found an equal. We were in sight of the old coalition lines when they headed off in the middle of the night. I knew better than to ask. God killing's their business, after all. It's okay. I'm here. Do you feel it? That tug at your soul? I do. That's what it was like down there. I swore I'd never come back to this place. If it weren't for you, I would have run away again. You're doing a brave thing, Anki. Thank you. This is going to hurt. Enki? Enki, what happened? Talk to me, damn it! <sighs> I'm alright. It's just... Felt like talons raking across my soul. It had to be worth it. You're positively glowing. I know a shortcut to the camp. This way. My name is Nor Vanek. I'm with the Sappers, and I brought help. Is Field Marshal Sama still alive? Did anyone in the High Command survive? I need to... Vanek, you need to lower your voice before you bring that flying god on our heads. <sighs> you held out. How? I thought the gods had torn right through you. They did. If they had bothered to circle back and finish the drop, we'd be dead. Instead, we're trapped here. Unable to break out or contact anyone. Except for you, apparently. You were supposed to be dead, Vanek. I survived. Barely. It's a long story, Field Marshal. And I want to hear all of it. Join me at the command tent. You want to try another attack on the door. It sounds like you're trying to get what's left of my force killed, Vanek. Request denied. Uru, that flying god, won't stop until he has me. Is this some sort of a joke? No, Phil Marshal. Just hear him out. And who are you exactly? I am Enki, god of death. And I am here to atone for my sins. You brought a god here? After everything they did to us? Enki is the only good god, Sama. Helped us kill two of his kind already. None of us would be here without him. God or not, I don't have any use for heroes. Or martyrs. I'm neither. And Uru has to answer for everything he's done. All right. We'll send a small force to clear the path ahead. You'll lead the charge, while the rest of us will provide covering fire from a safe distance. Yes, yes Field Marshal. And Death God, when you find them down there, take care of my soldiers. Yes, Field Marshal. It's quiet. Why is it so quiet? This is the door's threshold. The dead know better than to get in Uru's way. And here we are, headed right for him. Did you hear that? Like 
Snake Wings. This is just the wind through the ruins, okay? You should take me someplace that's still standing after all this. The land of Nith should be safe. None of the gods would bother with a place that's dark half the year. Sounds like a good start. Reaching Nith won't be easy. It's not on any of your maps. What about taking the rift there? If all goes well, there shouldn't be any rifts after this. Shame. I'll miss flying. Feels like sacrilege. These gates have been unscathed for centuries. you a choice. You did the right thing. I abandoned her. Then I killed her. This is my fault, mine. She didn't deserve this. Her mind had gone, Enki. What you did was a mercy. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. The right thing. No other gods left now. Save Uru and I. And one of us must die. I'll be happy to oblige. I'll go find the others when you're ready. I still can't believe you pulled it off. They'll write your name in the history books for this. The woman who took Dawn. It's not over yet, Field Marshal. There's still one god left to kill, and I'm not putting any more lives at risk. That winged bastard. I saw him circling above just now. We could establish a perimeter around it. Blast the door from a distance? I've seen it move. It would be on us before we could load the cannons. And how would you bring those in? The streets are still crawling with dead. I'm not putting any more lives at risk until that's settled. So we clear the dead, then we trap Uru in the streets. 
set up a killing zone, and shoot it in waves from the rooftops. Couple of pits and a wide enough net should do it. No. Enki and I will deal with Uru ourselves. Have it your way. Just know, whatever happens, it's been an honor serving with you. I won't be long, Bert. Promise. Take ten minutes, ten months, ten years. Just come back to me. I never would have been here without you. Thank you. I'll see you soon, won't I, Death God? Might be a little while longer, Bert. Going already? No use dawdling, Lord Master. Then, I pray you either live free or die well. And I want you to know that you did my armor and honor. Hararstra. Nakstra Elana. What was that? Picked up a bit of God speak from Enki. Felt appropriate. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'll be off soon. I can see that. I just thought it could be different this time. You want me to cry, Vanik? Give you a hug. Should be a good start. Piss off. You're an alright sapper. A good warrior. And my only proper friend. Now you made it weird. Make sure she doesn't do anything too stupid, will you? I'll do what I can. It was an honor serving with you. But I didn't do it by myself, no. I mean it. I owe you. We owe you. Everything. We'd have done fine without her. We have a future. The world has a future. Thanks to you. I'll tell your story, Enki. It's more than I could hope for. There you are. Enki, Vanek, are you ready to go? As will ever be, Phil Marshall. Good. It's been an honor serving with you, Sapper. We barely knew you, Death God. But we owe you everything. Old Dawn. No one was ever allowed in here, except for priests and the dying. How come? They said death watched this place, <laughs> listened to people's prayers, and accepted their penance. Did you? I should have. Call back the dead. Return to your place below, or else... because of me. I know how much it hurts, Enki. I know the pain you're going through, but you're doing the right thing. I know better than him. You want to make this right? Then kill that bastard. Stop the damage. Fix what you can. That's how you're better than him. You can still turn away. You can't. You're down. 
He needs to pay for all the suffering he's caused. For everyone we've lost. For ten years of misery. Lead the way then. I don't want your forgiveness, Uru. And I don't deserve to be free. I just want this to stop. Stop. <laughs> no one shall. The dead will keep spelling out until the dead will know. Unless you make me free. mean it is done Enki? Enki!
You're a sapper first, remember? Besides, you still can't fight weather down. You gave up everything for me. Allow me to make it up to you. Lead the way. Damn.